Kerry Mulligan incorrectly named as winner after signing translation gaff. Kerry Mulligan was incorrectly announced as the winner of the Supporting Actress Award at the BAFTAs after a translation gaff while deaf actor Troy Kotzer was presenting. Oscar winner Kotzer was delivering the announcement by sign language before a miscommunication resulted in Mulligan's name being called for her performance in She Said. The announcer quickly corrected the call and announced the Banshees of Anisha in star Kerry Condon as the winner. Taking to the stage, Condon paid tribute to director Martin McDonough, adding, Thank you for all the parts you gave me throughout my career. You make me so proud to be an Irish woman. She also thanked the amazing cast and her family as well as her horses and dogs. Event host Richard E. Grant joked later that he had a defibrillator for Mulligan. It is understood the mistake will not feature in the final broadcast on BBC One, which is airing slightly behind the ceremony. Fellow Banshee star Barry Keoghan then won Best Supporting Actor, bringing the film's tally to two. The 30-year-old Irish actor sheepishly told the audience he should have planned this, really before thanking his co-stars and Ireland. He also dedicated the award to children from the area he comes from. Jamie Lee Curtis and Anya Taylor-Joy presented the outstanding debut by a British writer, director or producer to Charlotte Wells for Afterson, starring Paul Mescal. Tearfully, she thanked the producers, cast and crew and mentioned the earthquake that hit Syria and Turkey, where the movie was filmed. Wells also said her film was a eulogy to her father and added he's not here, but my mum is. The award for film not in the English language went to All Quiet on the Western Front. Director and screenwriter Edward Berger said, I booked tickets for Emma Thompson and it was the highlight of my life. He then added that the filmmakers grew up with a responsibility to tell the story and were honored the public had accepted it with overwhelming love. The first award of the night, Best Adapted Screenplay, also went to All Quiet on the Western Front with Berger paying tribute to those fighting in Ukraine. Screenwriter Ian Stokel said the project had been worth the wait because the film is anti-war. The Netflix epic led the pack with 14 nominations. The Banshees of Inisherin, starring Colin Farrell, and Everything Everywhere All at Once. Featuring Michelle Yeoh, follow close behind with 10 nominations each. The night could see Irish star Farrell take home the first BAFTA of his 25-year career. This year's ceremony has moved to the Royal Festival Hall from its previous location of the Royal Albert Hall, which had hosted the show since 2017. The Prince and Princess of Wales are attending the event for the first time in three years.